What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. So, one comment I received on Discord, on the subscriber Discord. So, if you guys are on YouTube, head on over to the Twitch and subscribe and join the Discord. It's pretty awesome. Uh, one thing people were saying... Uh, Brian actually said... Uh, anyone else think that the Legacy Cube is significantly worse than the previous versions? It is by far the least enjoyable cube I've ever, ever played. And I was kind of feeling this way the other day. I don't know if you noticed at the end of the video. I was just like, I don't know why, but I'm just like, this cube feels really off. And <clears throat> my response is, oh my god, I was just talking about this today. I couldn't put my finger on it, but yes, something just feels off. And he said, yeah, it's weird. I looked at the change list, and then, you know, links to the change list. And for the majority of changes, I would have preferred having the old card that got replaced back. To me, the new Legacy Cube kind of feels like a slightly more powerful modern cube. With a few obvious differences, like having original duels and no signets. I also don't get why each card that got taken out wasn't listed with the card it was actually replaced by. For example, Rakdos's return got taken out and quote unquote replaced with Murderous Red Cap, but Mind Shatter got added as a supposed replacement for Dark Petition. Like, that doesn't make any sense. Mind Shatter is just a power. I wouldn't say it's a powered down Rakdos's return because it is random, so they're kind of different. <clears throat> but they are similar, right? Like, one would easily replace the other. They're both discard spells to have two colored casting costs. Uh, Rakdos that is also harder to play or Splash for. Why would you take out Reflecting Pool and add over Evolving Wilds as a replacement? That I don't understand. I can't ever imagine wanting to play Evolving Wilds in my cube deck. I don't ever want to search for a basic land in cube. We are out of play points based on a an incredibly losing record, <clears throat> unfortunately. But um, <clears throat> nevertheless, it's cube, so maybe we'll figure it out and... Uh, but it's just, it's a weird feeling I've had, and I didn't know how to really quantify it. But I mean, like, it just has a lot of weird decisions. Like, we have Exclusion Mage and Mana War, two of the same exact effect for the same exact cost. I mean, you could put Reflector Mage in instead, if, if you want something different. And then you have, like, a blue-white reward, you know, with a with a three power, or three toughness, rather. Or like, you know, but, like, there's no deck that even takes advantage of Mana War and Exclusion Mage. There's no, like, blue tempo deck, as far as I know. I haven't seen it. And then you have, like, um... Bone Shredder, Necrotal, Ravenous Chupacabra, and and Shriek Maw. And why do you need four of these cards? Like, you just don't. <clears throat> Especially because there are so many creatures in the cube where, where Bone Shredder and Necrotal just don't hit. Like, you just have matchups where you're just like, well, I have no targets for these. So I literally, uh, I, I have nothing to do with them. So it's just really, it's really, like, strange. Even when cube is bad, it's still good. I mean, like, it's hard to really mess it up when you're playing with some of the, the most powerful cards in Magic's history. But, like, that being the case, like, there's still nuance in, in what, you know, when it's better and when it's worse and why. So. Agreed. I mean, there's so many cool different cards you can put in the cube, right? Like, I mean, you just choose not to. <clears throat> For, like, pretty random arbitrary decisions. I mean, I'm drinking a Gatorade. It is a a citrus cooler. Mike, however, is not a citrus cooler. No, I'm drinking water. Water, water, water. That has nothing to do with what you are, which is what I said. I'm mostly water. Are you? Yeah. Prove it. Cut yourself. I want to see you bleed water. That's not how that works. <clears throat> I want you to bleed water for me, Michael. <laughs> Thank you. Your mana base belongs to us. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. <clears throat> Thanks for the content. It's really nice to be uh, on the ombudsman. Oh, <laughs> what does that mean? Of the mana screw support group. And I look forward to your vote in November. Anytime, buddy. You got my vote. Why is it taking so long? This is the longest it's taken for this for this for this cube to fire. Maybe everybody's onto it. They're like, nope, not not doing it. Not enjoying it anymore. Are you okay? No. Boy, I've known that for a long time. Uh-uh. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> All right, so we're still waiting, guys. Of all the cubes as far as uh, legendary cube is the least satisfying it's not nice to make your oh yeah mike actually said uh mike actually said that mike said he liked the legendary cube the cube the least that's interesting i don't remember disliking it as much as you guys did but maybe i did it's a suck fest you're a suck fest how why would you use my own words against me why why would you why wouldn't i this is messed up, man. You're messed up, man. That's your superhero name, Messed Up Man. <clears throat> I actually like the Uncommon Cube. I, th I liked it better than I thought I would. And it's funny because I actually drafted it in person with uh, with Allie in, in Seattle. Oh, man. Yeah, that's a good one. All right, we're down to six again. Someone's like, no, I'm not in. I'm out. <clears throat> oh, we're up to seven. Oh, there we oh, go. Oh, there we go. We did it. Show me that Jace the Mind Sculptor. There is no Jace the Mind Sculptor. But there is a... Nothing really exciting. Yeah. I'm, I'm like Lyra or Sinister Sabotage here. I would take Lyra. Yeah, I could see taking Lyra. I actually like white. I think it does a lot of cool things. Oh, like, like, oh! I like T-Father. Yes, T-Father. Yeah, I, I want this swords really badly, but I think Teferi is just way too good. And it's a nice early Teferi, so... Uh, I don't think swords and sticking to a color is worth passing a Teferi. Arguably one of the best two planeswalkers ever printed in Magic the Gathering. Did you see this one? Yeah, I've seen that one. <laughs> Still good though. Yeah. What do we got here? Uh Gilded Lotus, we can go for the uh triple three, triple five drops. Or we can take a Johnny and try to be uh Jeskai Super Friends, which I kinda like. Otherwise, we have like Charter Course or Forsake or Ranger, all of which are very unexciting. I kind of like Johnny here. Billy, what's the good news, buddy? <clears throat> I, I mean, I don't hate Bant, but I'd. Mm, I, mm, um. Billy, that's awesome, dude. Congrats. <clears throat> Where is it? Where is it? Where's the Master's Program? I'm going to take this, uh, Johnny. Are you. Can I get words? Confirmation? Something? You may take the Ajani. Oh, thank you. Oh, Coalition Relic. University of Edinburgh? <clears throat> Edinburgh? 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 Edinburgh. Bra. That's crazy, dude. Bra. Are you going to be living there? We got Relic. We got... I can't tell gate. if it's remote or uh, if you're going to be literally living in uh, Scotland. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, I took this. How many of Johnny's? The funny thing is, take? Pernicious Dude actually lives right outside of Scotland. So it's real close. What did you say? How many of Johnny's can we take? Oh, remove soul and essence scatter. They're both in here, right? We did confirm that. I don't know. I'm trying to make a list of the, the issues I have with this particular cube, and I'm trying to collect them so I have uh, a way to present them in an article or a video. Billy, that's sick, dude. <clears throat> Remove Solar or Infernal Titan? It's got to be one of these two, right? Do you want to be double red, or... I don't know. Probably Remove Soul. God, Infernal Titan's so strong, though. I think you just win when you cast an Inferno Titan. Ooh, a Plateau is nice. I'm going to take a Plateau. Do you have a problem with that? No, I have no problem with that. I'm going to take it. I'm going to put it on my sideboard. Do you have a problem with that? Yes, I have a problem with you putting it in the sideboard. Please put it in the main deck. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for your grievances. I think we take Resto, because it actually... Uh, 
Because it's Besto? Yeah, Resto is actually Besto. What about the sandwich kind? Thank oh. you! Anyone want subs? Holla at me. I'm sharing a love, sharing love mood today. Billy with the gifted sub, man. Thank you so much, buddy. You are awesome. I'm so I'm so thrilled for you, dude. While this does make it more difficult for us to get together in Seattle, it may make it easier us easier for us to get together in Scotland, which would be sick. Conclave Tribunal, champion of of shrimps. Mm -hmm. Champion of shrimps. That's Mike's. Uh, that was Mike's nickname in, in college. The champion of shits. Wow. You know what you did. I kind of like Champion of Woods. Over Conclave Tribunal? Yeah. Who doesn't like drawing cards? Okay. Wow. No <laughs> respect. <laughs> Got him! I'm going to take this looter. I knew you were scratching, so. I knew you were scratching. Actually, the funny thing is, uh, being on the East Coast, yeah, it's probably six hours to either Scotland or to, to Seattle, so. I don't know if that's true. I feel like Scotland's probably longer than really? six hours. The f oh, 49. Um, Preordained's got to be. Oh, the swords came back. Wow. <laughs> <coughs> How did swords to plowshares come back? Kitchen things could be good. It's double white, but I think we're pretty heavy white here. Yeah, I like kitchen things. Fumigate and lightning helix? Wow. It's gotta be helix, right? And this tooth and nail? I don't know, fumigate can just kinda win games randomly. So can I, Michael. So can I. Can you? It's rough, it's difficult. Well, we could have played land tax. Well, we never would. But we could have. Yes, we could have also played a Johnny, so I guess your argument is moot, right? You're a moot. Yeah, good one. Got him. Yeah, good got him. Eight hours, 56 minutes. So, like, three hours longer. Big deal. Big deal. Three hours ain't nothing. <clears throat> All right, for Jess guy, we got no, no, no. Well, none of the creature lands actually do anything for us. We're not playing black or green, so. Uh, impulse is pretty decent. Wait, I'm an idiot. Don't listen to me. Sounds good. Sounds good. So, Rob, I'm working on the red cards, buddy. <clears throat> I got three here. I don't think we're taking any of these, but <clears throat> I just did a rather loud impression of me. What was the impression? Is it? It's one of these two, what about right? Face feathers. Face feathers. Yeah, feathers. Wow, feathers like a bird. Like mm -hmm. these are the. F I'm like a bird. I want to fly away. Okay. Do you? Yeah. Okay. I want to take the impulse. Really? We already have Conclave Tribunal. Yeah, but why not more? Oh, girl! Oh, treachery too? Hey, look, it's the Immortal Sons that we see every draft. It is. It is. Face feathers? <laughs> mm, great. And of course, this pack we get Elspeth and treachery. I don't think Elspeth's going to wheel, but I do like treachery a lot. I like Elspeth better. We're more heavy white. We are more heavy white. I can agree with that. Oh, a Karn? That's just a nice little four-mana boy. Also, a Path and a Mana Leaf. This, this pack's nice. Dave McBeardy Face, thank you so much for the sub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> welcome back, rather. Welcome back, Dave McBeardy Face. You are the McBeardy Face we need here. I'll just take Path to have a million removal. To have a million removal, dude. Isn't Mana Leaf kind of like removal, but it also removes spells as well? No? Yeah, sorta. I'm taking the mana leaf. You're a dummy. I don't even like you. I tried to like you once and it was very Earth hard. Earthbeth part two. Or a thirst for knowledge. You have no artifact. Or a spell queller. Or a through the breach. Okay, well. <clears throat> I did all I could, ladies and gentlemen. I'm out. <clears throat> did you do all you could? 
I feel like you did nothing. I feel like your face is nothing. Cool story, bro. Thanks, bro. Take that spethy, boy. Fine. Where are my fixing lands? I'm in three colors and I can't get any dual lands that fix. <coughs> I really can Shut up and take here. my money. Joe Joe and Key, so must draft all cards from different sets. <clears throat> oh my god, that sounds difficult. Only one card from Dominaria, Ravnica, Legion, etc. excludes lands. Oh man. Alright, actually. Excludes lands and artifact mana sources. Okay, that sounds good though, because then we can actually take multiple fixing lands. Yeah, it's just gotta be electrolyzed, right? We could take fight with fire, but I think electrolyze is probably better here. Okay, let me uh let me mark this. Oh, Glacial Fortress. Exactly what I want. Oh, Deceiver Exarch, though? That doesn't do anything yet. He doesn't have a friend. It's gotta be Glacial here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah! Okay. Stip'ems. Stip'ems and rip'ems. Okay. Also, it's, it's a stip, so it, it shouldn't be too easy, I guess. It shouldn't be too easy, I guess. Okay, so we're gonna... Oh, Aurelia. Also, Ponder? How do you keep track of that? You look at your cards. You're like, alright, Dominaria. Alright, Theros. Do I have a Dominaria card? Yes, I do. Like, I have two right now. Hmm. How do you keep track of anything in your life? You don't. I was just hoping Magic Online you had, don't. A, had a way to tell you that. Like, you could sort by set. Um, sort by... You can, but it's literally never been enabled. Oh, really? Interesting. Yeah, it's always been grayed out. I'm just going to take Ponder here. <clears throat> Hollowed Fountain? Yeah, boy. Well, like, holler at my fountain. No one's hollering. No one's doing that. Why oh, not? look, your face your face, face feathers came back. Nice. And the Burmaz and the Cyclonic Rift came back. Wow. I'm going to take Rift. Rift? Yeah. Yeah, I think so, too. And the path came back. Cool. And literally every blue and white card came back. This is amazing. Treasure map is pretty Gucci. You're right. It's not Revel Arc. I think it's just Spell Queller. I don't know if I'm going to play it, but... Oh, was... Really? Why not? I don't know. It's a counterspell, bro. It's kind of a counterspell. And then they kill your guy and they get their thing back and it's just sad for everybody. Wow, white is way open. And the path came back the very next day. Mm, Ancestral V. Thank you! Um, as always, J. Brickbeard, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Venser SS. Niv Mizzut. Niv Mizzut would be pretty ambitious. Maybe. Maybe not. I kind of liked it here, but we are. We got five. We got creatures, five creatures, man. Yeah. And we do have this. This makes creatures. This makes creatures. But like, it's only seven creatures. If you take count a those. power stone too. No, man, take that ancestral. I do like an ancestral. Yeah, you guys are right. Oh, baby McGravy. It's not even close, dude. It's not. Put you in my pile of junk. This will probably just come back anyway. I hope this Mana Confluence comes back, actually. That was not a hard pick. Oh, we found the Kiki Jiki? The McJikums? The McJikums, indeed. I mean, I like Horse of Portal, but I think I just probably want a Seagate or a Yeah, let's take a Seagate. Oh, Deal Spires. Oh, Tundra. Tundra seems better. Tundra seems better as a card, but we already have two blue-white fixings and one red-white fixing. I still think it's Tundra, though. Wood only gets Plateau, so it's literally just a... It's just the worst Needle Spires here. Yeah, I like Tundra. 
Inspiring Vantage. Oh, I like Time Spiral here, especially with all our Planeswalkers. Time Warp, but sure. That's what I meant. I don't know why I said Time Spiral. Yeah, we're taking the Time Warp. We also just cut the Inferno Titan and, and be very minimal red. Sunday, Monday, Michael Days. The Tuesday, Wednesday, Michael Days. Michael Days, the weekend come. The Michael Days are for you. These Michael Days. These Michael Days. Someone make him stop. Michael Days, every day. This is Michael, it's his day. Every day, Michael, every day. Michael Days, every day. You like this song? Yeah, it's fantastic. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. I was kidding. It's terrible. No, you rude. suck. I'm going to take... I don't know. He did get him. Take Ravages. Boarded in like a savage. Why does that make me a savage? That doesn't make you a savage, you just are. Oh, dang. Chromatic Lantern. Chromatic Lantern makes everything all right. Chromatic Lantern! It makes everything all right! Gideon's also pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh, there's an exclusion mage that we're so fond of. I actually don't hate Pact Indigation here. It's a free counter spell. I don't think Mother of Runes is great. Exclusion Mage is kind of cute, but I don't think we need it, really. Wow, Venser and Brightling both came, and Worn Power Stone came back? Literally every card we've even looked at in this cube has come back. I kind of like Warren. I kind of like cutting these guys, and now we have 22, and now we can just... You like Warren Power Center? Well, if we're playing blue-white, then I'd rather have Venser. Why, why, did, why did the red make you want the Warren Power Stone? Because we had more six drops. We had one more six drop. Yeah. Okay, that's weird. I do like Brightling. I think Brightling's pretty strong. Oh, we took, oh and Treat the Angels? What land did I... What did I hope came back? Oh, the Mana Confluence, which is gone. I do like Blade Splicer. Do you want to get Miracle? <laughs> Dude. It just never works. We do have a Ponder, but that's basically it. It just makes me so... It's such a sad card. Like, it makes me sad. <laughs> I don't want to be sad. Oh, wow. Wrath of God? Oh, wow. That's phenomenal. Isn't cast out better than Conclave Tribunal? Yes, actually. Well, yeah, it has Flash. I think that's extremely relevant. And it cycles. Both of those are relevant, more relevant than the the con the Convoke. <coughs> you think so in our eight creature deck? Well, we have Elspeth that can make a bunch of dudes. Gideon makes dudes. Elspeth makes dudes. Your mom makes dudes. Blades Blesser makes dudes. It's his funny joke because you are the dude your mom has made. <laughs> Man, shut up. Yeah, hilarious. You're you're not hilarious. Probably cut impulse. Impulse? Why would I cut impulse? Because then you cut. That's not a reason to cut impulse. That's literally a reason to cut a card. I mean, it's just card selection. It's not that great. Then why are we cutting ponder? I think ponder is better. Why? It's just card selection. It's not that great. Well, no. You you get to draw a card. So do you get to draw a card of Impulse? Yeah, but Impulse costs two mana. Ponder only costs one. This is an instant. Looks like you go four. This is a sorcery. Looks like you go three. I still prefer Ponder. Okay, well, you're just not explaining why. That's all. You got Finks here? I feel like Finks helps us survive. I'd rather cut Blade Splicer than Finks. Resta's doing plenty of stuff. It's saving our creatures from uh, from impact. 
it's resetting planeswalkers. It's blinking a Seagate Oracle, it's blinking a Blade Splicer, it's blinking a Kitchen Finks. It can reset these to find better targets. Feels like Resto is doing a bunch. But if that Resto can only target creatures. Nope. Oh, it is only creatures. Why do I think? What am I thinking of? Flicker Wisp. Maybe I am thinking of Flicker Wisp. Maybe my brain got destroyed this week. Maybe I do. I'm not going to resto. That's fine. What'd you cut? Resto. <laughs> oh, wait, you cut a creature? Yeah. Why? Well, I said, what'd you cut? And you said resto. And then you said I could cut a creature, and I said, yeah, why? Because resto's good, and it's a creature. It's a threat. So? <laughs> What's your point, man? You gotta really cut like a Seagate Oracle or something. Because like, this draws us a card. Yeah, it draws you one card, but Resto is Besto. Okay, it's not. That's a good conversation we're having. We're done. Oh, I don't think. I think I've had great results with Brightling. I think Brightling is awesome. I don't think it's way better than Brightling at all. Most of the blade splicer value. Think of that. I literally just went over all of this defending Restoration Angel, and you didn't say shit. And now I cut it, and now you're like, you know, look, think of all the value. And I'm like, well, I'm I was not, literally well, just defending it. But I'm not the one who said to cut it. But you didn't say anything. I like it in the deck. Oh, I, oh my God. I'd always like it in the deck. 41 land deck land. Come on, me. <laughs> yeah, just 41. I put it back in. Oh, God. This one forest they sell. It's like, what, 14, 14? 11, 11? Also, she protect Planeswalker. Also, Wrath seems like it'd be pretty good in this deck. I do, th I do like Wrath in the deck. I just don't think she's great. Like, she blinks these three things. I thought she was better when, for some reason, I thought she was blinking, like, Planeswalkers and, and Enchantments as well. I think this is fine. I think this deck looks good. Do you need a rift? Yeah, of course you need a rift. You ever you ever you ever overloaded a rift? You maniac? You ever rip a fat rift? You ever hit a uh, do a fat bong rift? Wow, that's loud and thunderous. Thunder. Th -th thunder. Why would you do that? Mike B and the thunder. Who do you think you are? Gonna mulligan hands with one land. Impulse. Uh uh, impulse. Gonna find us a tundra. Tundra. To the tundra. Oh, also, Ponder, Ponder kinda can see four cards because you can shuffle with it. Oh, wow. Yeah, but then they, they make you choose the last, the fourth card randomly. That is true. I know, buddy. Uh, we can actually just play this. We don't need a third land, so we can actually play either one of these next turn. We don't need to be impulsing here because we don't know what we're looking for. You want to bluff days? I can still bluff days. I got two islands, dummy. Yeah, but I meant for full cost. But I meant for full Splicer. 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 Lightning and a splicer. 
This could be bad. They kill this. Yep, they always do. Never fails. I thought you just wanted a fair trade here. Did you not? They did not. Okay, we're doing it. We are living the dream, my dude. These are my kitchen finks. They're eating all the snacks every day. Hmm. Hmm. They're eating all the snacks every day. Every day, bro. It's every day, bro. Play Teferi? It's hard to do that with with four mana. But I will. Uh, I'll run your. I'll run your suggestion up the chain. Hmm. Oh, an impulse for a land here. I like your. I like. I like what you're saying right now. I'm gonna be honest with you. We found one. Oh, swords of plowshares is nice. We should not block this time. Oh, I agree. Oh, they might be coming at us with this rage and ravine. They're not. Nope. Why block first time? I don't know. I got scared. God, they're at 17. We're at 21. We're basically winning. Well, that's pretty good. I'm not excited about that. Huh. Well... That could be good. Probably not going to be. I have a bad feeling about this. Can only cast out cost three. If only. Well, I'm vomiting in my mouth right now. Okay, your Wrath of God is definitely coming in. There's a lot more creature decks in this in this Legacy Cube than I was expecting. Like, I think I'm not used to there being a lot of creature decks in Legacy Cube, but this one has a lot of creature decks in it. Okay, who's going at Tef? All three of these. So Tef is dead. These are both going at me. really do anything though. It doesn't save him. Wrath of God, where are you at? Interesting choice. Uh, so they just attack one, two, three, four, five, six. We take six and they just shoot us free. Yep. All right, cool. Any Game of Thrones predictions? None, and I don't really want to make any either. Just because I don't want to spoil it, or I don't want to, like... If I predict something and then it comes true, it's super awkward. Um, Wrath of God. God I feel like all these red cards are very good. In this matchup, yeah. All right, let's take out a planes, add this. Two, three. One, two, three. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, eight white sources. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blue sources. Plus a relic for everything. I'm gonna take out the looter. Bring in electrolyze. Take out, cast out, bring in Johnny. Take out Rift, bring in Lightning Helix.
Ancestral might be too slow. I think Pact Negation is. Yeah, Pact seems a little ambitious here. I could also see bringing Oust over like uh, something. I was thinking I'll bring Resto because Resto can either like blink one of our life gainer guys or it can just block a Hell Rider. So. Uh, yeah, we'll keep this hand. Mana Leak on two, Bright Link on three. Just hope they don't have Chain Lightning, I guess. They never do, though, so. Should be fine. <sighs> you got it. <coughs> Shut up. So seems good. That's annoying. Today on this episode of Never Don't Have It. They never had it. Oh my god. Keep up impulse and path. Feeling good now. We can also pump Brightling's toughness now. All Brightling has to do is survive for one turn, and then you're like, smooth sailing. Smooth sailing? That was a nice hit. Smooth sailing. Kitchen Fink seems good. I'll just take a Finks here. Are you going to double kill it? I mean, me returning it, they can kill it again. So, like, if they want to waste two spells on this, I guess that's their prerogative. I mean, two for one. Still fine. I mean, any blue source we get to play Consecrated Sphinx. Yeah, that's pretty fine. I'm going to just path my own guy. They have two cards in hand, and we get to play Consecrated Sphinx next turn. Kind of like that. I mean, we could we could have just hit a land off Goblin Guy, but if we don't, then we're not going to hit one. And we hit one anyway. Look at me. I am the captain now. Oh, I'm definitely the captain now. I am definitely the captain now. 
you can tell because oh, I yeah. drew Elizabeth. That they just drew like with their clue to find an answer for the Sphinx, and we got oh, to draw God. two more cards. You should also crack your horizon canopy. That is my suggestion to you. I am the captain now. Look at me. I am the Queepton now. The Queepton? Mm-hmm. No, nah, man, that's weird. What do you know about Queeptons? I don't know anything about them. That's right. Is it? You little Mitch. Hmm. Little Mitch. Thank you. Cheese Whisk, thanks so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. That's a good name. Everyone likes a good Cheese Wisp. Have you seen my hand? It's so full and rich. You got it. Oh, look at all these little cute guys you're playing. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That is sad. Just he looks the hell rider. She has no game plan. Well, I was also gonna kill this guy. I guess we can do both. Did you hear that I'm the captain now? Was that on with the word with Purd? Uh, I don't know, man. I just work here. I also think Rift is actually pretty good in this matchup. If we get to bounce all their stupid idiots back to their hand. There's two cards I'm really scared of. It's like Siege Gang and Hellrider are both the, the scariest cards we've seen them play because they just go wide. And we don't have a ton of guys to also go wide. Oh, I'm going to keep it because of the Ponder. It's a little rough, but... We can make it work. Oh, look, a preordain too. Nope. Definitely not a preordain. Impulse, rather. Why did I say preordain? Um, any order, and we're going to shuffle this. Poof. How about Tundra into oh, just some planes? I'll take that. I'll take that as well. I think we have better ways to deal with this than with this. Or maybe it's maybe it's the other way around. We exile this. Brightling does block this. card I can play. It does count. It does count. So now we can impulse and path. That's actually pretty okay because impulse theoretically should be able to find us a white. Oh, no hell rider. Fascinating. 
I don't actually want to ramp them though. I think I'll just take three here. This guy's not the scariest thing they have. Hanger back on to Glacial Fortress. Seems good. Or we can take a Relic and play Relic next turn. One, two, three. I think I just want the planes here. We have five mana already. Or Glacial Fortress, rather. Tundra? Tundra. Du -du Tundra. Mike B and his Tundra. That's going to be a good one. It's one of these three, right? <laughs> Obviously. I don't think we need the life right now. Brightling is nice to have, especially with a protective, a protective shield around it. Fascinating. Yeah, that's, if they have like burst lightning, we're just in bad shape. I'm not gonna. Which they have shown this. Right. Yikes. Batter skull. They're not allowed to have that. They're not allowed to hard cast it for sure. They're going to stick the batter skull on this guy, and it's going to be actually surprisingly hard to deal with. You mean a 7 4 first strike lifelink vigilance? I do mean that. Hmm. Yeah, then we can path it, though. Right, but they don't have a reason to do that unless we play a Lyra, so it's going to be awkward. Balancing and Brightling also costs triple white, unfortunately, which we don't have. I mean, I guess if they want to spend their whole turn doing that, then we can just path this guy. That's actually pretty good. If they haven't have an answer to Lyra in their two cards in their red-green deck, I think that's... They probably wouldn't do it because of Splicer. They already attacked into our Brightling when we could have made it a 2-4. So that gives me the impression that they have a Burst Lightning or a way to deal 2 damage, which gets rid of the Blade Splicer token, or the Blade Splicer itself, which means their first strike is not scared of our first strike. Um, so I really don't think they're going to care about the... the uh, they're not going to equip it just because we have a Blade Splicer on board. They don't have any reason to. Yep, that's... That is what they had. So we would have went to pump and they would have done that. Okay, that's actually great though. Okay, okay. Who do you think Mike is? Michael B is a big star. He's a big star in a trash can. In the garbage can. He's a big star in a trash can and a garbage can. Buddy, don't I know it. Do I attack this turn? I think so. What does that do, though? It deals them high damage. Right, but then they could just get in for a million. Well, we have path. I don't really feel like pathing any of these creatures. It's just not good. We don't really win that long game. really annoying every game 
I mean, Wrath of God would be great here, but they still have Hangerback Walker and Batter Skull, which is surprisingly good against our. Like, this is a dude I want to path. God, I feel like we're just losing this game, and I don't think their deck is actually that much better. Like, it's so weird. Like, we're losing to Hangerback Walker and Porcelain Legionnaire. I just feel like there's not very strong cards in the cube, so, like, cards like CJ and Commander that just give you more value over cards like, um, like Palace, Palace Jailer, for example. You doing okay? Yeah. yeah. Scratching your head, hitting the mic? Something like that. That's real professional. Yeah, what can I say? I'm a professional dude. Oh, boy. I feel like we keep getting outclassed here. I like that they also have six mana so that they could actually shoot this dude a million times. It's like we kind of have to path it. Yep. Do you ever forsaken the sideboard? Now we have uh, face fetters and cast out in the deck. All right, we didn't take the cast out, did we? No, we did. So we just have face fetters. Weird. We didn't see batter skull or hanger back walker then. I'm just not actually sure how we win this game. Yeah, like we have to path the Siege Gang Commander, which is such, such, it's so bad. Yep. Mike, do you wear those on your Starbucks runs? No, but I should. False. Hi. Could I get a coffee? One coffee, please. Oh, that's that's good. That's uh, that's nice. Okay, now Wrath of God's looking better, but still have still have Hangerback Walker. So, well. yeah, but then they keep Batter Skull and four guys. Oof. Yep, and they still have double creature lands. Can I get a coffee? It's my friend. My friend wanted to know if he could get a coffee. <laughs> I had to call him for that. Oh my god. My friend wanted to know if he could get an Impossible Burger. Thanks, I'll tell my friend. <laughs> it's not for me though, I eat meat. That's almost as good as the DVR bit. Yeah, that was. That was your own DVR bit. Jesus. Oh, that's nice. Wait, is this... Wait. Can we just get rid of this guy? Getting rid of this guy changes everything because this is the first striker. Oh wow, that was really good. If I could find a way to get rid of this hanger back walker, I'd feel like I'd be in great shape here, but maybe not great shape because they do have two creature lands and a batter skull, so maybe I'm overstating things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have nine mana. We have drawn an equal number of cards, two spells. Lands to spells, rather. Yep, 
Yeah, Lyra's pretty bad now because they can just give uh, really a protection. Wow, I wish Time Wipe is in this format. Holy crap, you can bounce our Lyra and Time Wipe the board. That would be insane. Yeah, turn three, like, turn three, seven mana doesn't excite me at all because it's like the odds of that ever happening is so low. Like... Like, I just don't get excited for interactions that are, like, 0.4% uh, to happen every game. Like, what does excite me? Cool cards that can go into the cube. Are you attacking with this? No, you're just giving it plus two and then passing. College tip. Must take any card with a book, scroll, college-related thing, etc. They have art, five exceptions. Uh, yeah, that sounds awesome, actually. What if there's nothing in any of the arts, though? All right. Maybe that's... I think you get a freebie. Well, Bresto doesn't bounce anything. She only blinks things, and... Ugh, God, Wrath, it's so bad against Hanger Backwalker. And we have both Swords and Path in the graveyard. It's so brutal. This is just going to get out of hand. It's already out of hand. <clears throat> What are the two cards? I don't understand this, whatever the combo is. Oh, it's, oh, is it, uh, you just sack elf to buy a thing on and get incubation druid and put a counter on it? That's interesting. Thank you for the excited because of times I see we were playing in the triple square format and as usual the best color and magic represented in both players red that's that's incorrect this is the worst color I feel like you just got confused but that's okay that happens wow something exciting is happening here I lied nothing exciting is happening here Well, shoot. Y'all got any more of them land cards? Why they have Ravages of War and Armageddon in the cube, I don't know. I feel like, why do you have both? I'm at 13. Why would you actually kill the Ajani? Just actually destroy me. I don't understand. <laughs> oh, boy. Good times. 
But it wasn't good times. Well, have you? Well, I really love them now. They're amazing, aren't they? Spencer, that's also in here. I haven't heard. When is the which new album are you referring to? That does make sense that they called it LP3. Wow, that's funny. I didn't even know it was out, which makes me feel bad. Uh, I'm going to take out the Kitchen Finks because maybe they're not as good as I thought they were. I'm going to bring in just Wrath of God. Stop it. No one's amused by you. Wow, how dare you? Everyone's amused by me. Go back to your scum house, scum lord. Man, I was dur I was born in the scum house, okay? That's why I, I know said it's secrets. go back to it. Now it's secrets? I fulfilled all I can of the scum house. There's no reason to you go back. You fulfilled all you can of the scum house? Yeah. That was a sentence that doesn't even make sense. Shut up and take my money. You don't make any sense. No. College tip. Must take any card of the book, scroll, college or the thing, etc. in the name or art. Use your best judgment if none are present. All right, this is going to be great. This is the uh, the uh, the Billy commemorative congrats on your master's stipulation. All right, well, first we have to lose this this draft in spectacular <laughs> fashion. What? Such enthusiasm. Oh, for this one? Yeah. Yeah, well, what can you do? Thank you. Billy with the five gifted subs. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. Thank you. I will. Oh, yeah. Thank you. This is going to do it. I don't want to mulligan it because I don't want to get screwed, but. Thank I'll give it a go. Oh, the third tail coming back, coming back with the five gifted subs as well. You guys are ridiculous. Thank, Thank you so much, guys. Really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Much more awesome than Mike Thank B. You. Wow. That's how you're going to be? Anish Joker, I am game. I am game, dude. Thank you. Anish Joker, did you see the, uh, the, uh, the doubling season video that we did? I hope you did. Thank you. But <laughs> thank you. <laughs> oh, nice little nice emote emote appreciation there. Yeah, man, I can't believe you're saying thank that on my you. birthday, buddy. You can suck a. I can't think thank of anything. You. Oh my god, the thank yous. SoCal Sal, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Oh, good. Take one of my two cards. Man, I hate thoughtsies just a mean card for mean people it is a mean card for mean people took time warp that's weird <sighs> two six drops in the deck let's draw the other one sounds good two six drops and like ten blue sources let's draw one of the, the six drops and not the blue sources Seems about right. <laughs> God, I hope what if they reveal the Emrakul? Whatever. They can reveal whatever the hell they want. They can reveal it in the trash can for all I care. I just want to see that happen one time. Remember the time we included this? Nice. If they're playing Emrakul in their Dark Confidant deck, like, they've already lost. Or won. There's got to be that one guy that's like, ah, it'll never happen. Most of my deck's pretty low curve. And then it happens. Why are they playing it then? Oh, they, my God. They got a cheaty plan. They got a cheaty plan. What's their cheaty plan in the Dark Confidant deck? Through the Breach. That's not low curve, though. 
So they're playing a red black deck with Through the Breach and Emrakul? Maybe not. I mean, I like your I like where your head's at. Oh, good, they get to flip their Kithian. Doesn't he suck, though? No. It's up to one creature. Attacks Gideon. Ba -ba -dum -boom -boom. Wow, look at all these little shitbirds they're playing. Yeah, we wrathed them, and they still got all the shitbirds. It's really impressive. Most impressive. Okay, up to one target creature and opponent controls attacks Gideon during its controller's next turn. Okay. So it's basically like a baby version of regular Gideon. Sure. Target creature gains indestructible. Untap that creature. Sure. Now, if we can draw one white source, or blue source, or blurple source, then Ooh, we can play this. I love blurple sources. Blurple sources. Mm -hmm. It was the best of times. It was the blurst of times. Shut up and take my money. Since both of you and Mike were there on the next draft, why don't you do the different decks? You build a deck and Mike the deck without knowing what you guys... Oh, the so the alternating picks? Yeah, we can do that. That's pretty sick. Honey's Joker. Thanks so much, buddy. Really appreciate it, Travis. Yeah, let's do alternating, alternating picks. You get so many tips, man. That's three now. You gotta do them all. Like Pokemon. Tonight. Okay. <laughs> we have to do them all tonight. Or today. What? Or today. Our opponent's trying to figure out what to do, I guess. Bubba butter free. The butter is never free. You must always pay for your butter. Tell them, Michael. Tell them about big butter. Big butter buttered my biscuits, and I was at the butter factory, and then they I slid all the way out because it went down the butter chute. He slid all the way out because he went down the butter chute. Everybody can relate to that. Surely everyone can relate to that. Surely everyone can relate to getting shot out the butter chute. <laughs> <laughs> I used to love her, ooh, yeah, but I had to kill her. You gonna flicker this? Get a little tokes? A little token? That's what Mike was doing before the stream. A little token? Can you imagine? I can I can I, I cannot. Well, they have five and floaty boys right now, so we really need to either get rid of a floaty boy with this cast out. Or die. Come on, blue source. It's not that hard. Thank you. Now we get to possibly draw either path or you know the other the other one. The other dude. The other gentleman. One time, one time, one time. That's all I want. We did it. We're coming back as stronger than ever. And Michael B's at the butter store. Sliding down the buttery chute. Andrew Path, which is pretty sweet. I love it when they crack their clue after we play Consecrated Sphinx. 
and they just oh, concede. Wow. <laughs> I feel like this was probably one of their better draws, and this was one of our worst draws, so... I'm pretty okay with what just happened. I just want to be clear. Spellcaller also seems good here, because it doesn't feel like they have a ton of ways to get rid of it. However, my problem is I don't want them to... Uh... God, it's another matchup, but I feel like the red is the red is good. <coughs> you alright, man? You sick? No. You just reg you just cough regularly? Yeah, it happens. You should see a doctor. I got something down my throat. Go see a doctor. But you won't because you don't take care of yourself. I'll go see a doctor when I die. Okay, well, that's funny and all, but sometimes people are serious when they talk to you. And I don't know what to take out. Probably Looter. Looter's kind of slow. Just like your brain. <laughs> hey, good one, man. That's good. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can take the tech out, right? That seems pretty greedy when we're going through Shut colors. Shut up. <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two. What do you have against outs and unexpected? They don't deal with things. They just postpone them. Like, I don't really... I just don't really enjoy them. Like, I don't want to really put a Thraben Inspector or a Dauntless Bodyguard... Uh, two or three into the deck. Uh, I don't want to bring in Infernal Titan because it's double double red. And we only have like four sources of red, so I'm not really going to hope that we hit a red. Hmm. Gutter bones. Don't talk about my gutter bones. Bro. 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 Bobby Butterbones. So we're going to do a stip next draft? Shut up, Michael. Go in your corner. Wow. Go slide down your butter chute again. Here comes Bobby Butters, man. Slide down his butter chute. You only ask I don't. Him. I don't want to be late for the, for the stip. Why would you be late for it? Because I need to go on a coffee run. Oh. oh. So I was thinking I should do that now rather than right later. this second. Well, you know, in the in future. In the future, he says. Probably now, though. Wow, you're just gonna leave in the middle of the second round. That's interesting. This is all very interesting. You know, I I, I heard this thing where if you get up earlier than five minutes before I start streaming, mm -hmm. you can actually go before that point. They have coffee. The coffee store is actually open before the stream starts. No way. Yeah, it's true. Get out of here. It's true. <laughs> you should play your Lyra. I agree with you. I agree with your strategy here. Mike, don't forget to wear your glasses there. Hmm. I'm going to take the cast out just That's because probably I dangerous. do want to get rid of this bitter blossom. Oh, look what we did. Here comes Bobby Butterfree. I did want to leave it in the first round, but I'm here now. I'm sticking it out. Oh, wow. That's that's pretty terrible of you. It's a little rude, yeah. Hippity hoppity Michael B's on his way. But, but, up, but, up. Take the butter shoot to start. Oh my god, really? I'm holding wrath so that I can actually wrath your board now, and you're just like gonna take their hat? Oh. No. Oh. No, oh, fuck me, I guess. Cool. Thanks, bro. Sick hand. Still seems. My last card is murderous cut. <laughs> 
Oh my god. Eh, that guy sucks. I don't care about that. I'm gonna draw cards now? Next turn? Okay. Oh, that's a good one. Hippity hoppity muckity. Stop singing hippy hoppity. Why? It's Easter, bro. It's not Easter. It's so Easter. Not yet. It's so Raven, Michael. Hippity hoppity, hippity hop. <laughs> all right we won that match literally they're like let me what snag your face fetters let me snag your friggin your wrath of god and then i'm like all right i'll just play lyra and they're like all right good game lyra is a hell of a card man apparently i think i just want the red in the deck i think the red is just better in the deck Add this, and then we'll add two more and cut one of each land. We'll take out the pact until I really need it. Or maybe we'll take out face fetters until we really need it. Yeah, that seems fine. Old Neon Token tells you right, man. What does that mean? Was it because of the... Because you said to play Lyra? Yeah, Neon Tokyo Rain. That guy knows what's up. That guy knows what's up. What up? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Would you make yourself laugh there? Yeah, the zoom-ins are funny, man. I don't know what to tell you. This is a good hand. And we have like five, six extra peaks to find another red land here. I thought there wasn't an island in his hand. I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. But there was an island, Michael. Please refer to me by my proper name. There was an island, Moochel. Thank you. <laughs> I was hoping you said Pykel, but... <laughs> Moochel works too. Man, the number of funny nicknames I've come up with on this, on this stream is just unbelievable. The island was inside Moochel all time. <laughs> Oh, that's sad that they it's, would do this. It's cooking with Pykel. Wait, wait a minute. Hey. What are you eating, Mike? Freaking bones or what? What does that mean? Is he eating something? The island was the friends Mutual made along the way. Oh, wow. They took our impulse. That's really sad. How impulsive of them. Joke's on you. I just drew a mountain. It's a wrath of God. It's worse than a mountain. Hold on, I have to read this. There once was a butter named Bob who loved some corn on the cob. The slide down the chute, boy, oh boy, what a hoot. But then Frankie boy called him a slob. <laughs> Amazing. I mean, that's pretty much what happened, yeah. That sounds about right. Hippity hop. Hippity hoppity moochels on his way. Oh, yeah? Where am I on my way to? Your mom's house? Am I? God, we're so good at this game. I really don't want to... What do you, what do you, what do, you do when you want to either? Don't want either, you mean? That's what I said. What do you do when you don't want either? Concede. That's what you do. You would play if you play Seagate Oracle. And you don't want either card. You concede. That's your only option. Mm, no, that's not correct. Otherwise, you have to take one of them, which is basically just even worse than the conceding. It's basically hell. Exactly. Do you want to be in hell, Michael? I'd rather just concede and move on with my life. You, well, but you have a hard time moving on with your life, so yeah, I have a hard time moving on. Yeah, I know. Ashiok, huh? That's pretty good. Not when I tuck it. <laughs> tuck it in you tuck it in you tuck it that's a David Wallace meme oh boy we're doing well <laughs> do 
But my dreams, they are this teffery. And we talked there as she What do you think about that? Nothing, because you don't think, because you're a stupid dummy. I don't Got think. Got him. Wow. Go slide down the butter chute again. <laughs> yeah, well, because it's fun, okay? You'll never have as much fun as I have. But, buddy, I'm having as much fun as you are right this second. Please. I can tell you're in misery. I can tell you're dead to me. Hmm. What do you got here? What do you what do you got? What do you what do you what do you what do you got? I don't know which one I picked here. Okay, none. Sounds good. As Mike Mutual claims. Brandon, what's your problem, buddy? Let's hear it. It's gonna be a troll problem, it's not a real problem. You ready? Mm-hmm. I've been watching your YouTubes recently. Here we go. What, they didn't play Ashiok? Play your Ashiok. Look with your ashy eyes. Can we get a Bolus's Helix 7 damage, gain 7? Oh, that's... Wow, the, the Johnny is the one you hit. Interesting. It's a bold strategy. Cotton. Curtain. Cruton? Crouton. Crouton. Hmm. It's a bold strategy, Crouton. Are you okay? What are you doing? I'm itching myself. That's not how people itch. What do you mean? Just stop being weird. No. Yeah, I feel like they were going to play something big. Something big in the neighborhood. Something big, something big. I mean, we're just going to wrap the board here, right? They get to draw two, but I don't really care. I've drawn two my whole life. He was watching YouTube videos, but he never he never completed what his problem was. I think that was the problem. Behind blue mics. But Mike B These aren't blue mics. Is Michael's. Michael B is a problem for me. The funny thing is, we could actually kill this with both of these, but then they draw two more cards. And I don't think that's worth it for the two creatures we have on board. That I wanted that to be a white so we can play this Elspeth, but uh, it was not, so we cannot. I think Planeswalkers are OP and you should take them every time. Sneak attack, eh? What you got? What are you sneaking? That's pretty good. <sighs> Wonderful. Sometimes magic is full of good times and sad days. Oh, they killed my red source. I Wow, I'm really bad at this game. I would have tapped it in response had I realized that, but I was really distracted by the uh, impending loss I was feeling. Wow, that would have been so much better. Then we can attack for nine here. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm.
Were you away for a while? Sorry if I'm late to the part. What does that mean? I don't know what's going on. This is all very confusing. Did they just take it? Is this where they treachery this and then attack us for three? Yeah, I didn't. I had a. I went to. I went on a trip for from Thursday to Monday, and then I got sick on Tuesday and Wednesday, so I didn't really stream a ton those days. Shut up, Michael. I didn't say anything. Then you're doing great. Thank you. You're doing great. Terribly, terribly great. <sighs> Can you do me a favor? What? Live your best life. No. No? No. Stop it with the Terestodons, jeez. No. Uh, trip was good. Just went to DC. Dissel. Did they just not kill anything? They must have killed one of their own lands. Oh, they did because they got a little Elephantos. I think we'll just win the game. Seems like a good plan. And we could have also attacked Coalition Relic and Lightning Helix their face, so... I mean, I probably would have gotten Consecrated Sphinx back myself because then I would have got to draw two cards and block the the lady the ladybird. But no, oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I got him while he was not expecting to be gottomed. I'm gonna bring in this Conclave and take out the Wrath of God because we want to get rid of both Recurring Nightmare and Sneak Attack because both are pizzas of shoot. We could also bring in a Vindicate and bring in this Godless Shrine and this Lava Claw Reaches, but it's actually pretty good. Yeah, I kind of like that a lot, actually. Take out Electrolyze. Take out one Mountain and one Plains for a Godless Shrine and a Lava Claw. And then we also have Coalition Relic, too. No hits a Roni, Mike Roni. Wow, that's that's racist. You ready for Thoughtsy's Inquisition guy? Here he is. Hey guys, I'm here to ruin all your fun with my discard spells. If there was a format of Magic Online where every card had a random effect, how much would you pay, play the set and barely ever? That sounds miserable. That sounds absolutely terrible. I think the Vindicate over the Relic. He's got a perm he wants to protect. Like a hair? Like a hairstyle? <clears throat> yeah, like a hairstyle. I gotta protect my nice perm. My hairstyle. Oh, a Cyclarooni. The greatest Moochil in the multi. They're probably just gonna turn three Ash. Yeah. They didn't hit a land drop. This is all very interesting. Well, I'm perplexed. Now they hit a land drop. Oh my. Blaze and Larry's. Buttery fried biscuits. Oh, that's a good one. 
that's a nice one to have. I think with this game, I think this game's over. I don't care about your stupid little bird. Mike be hurting for the bucks or the rum. What does that even mean? But he is indeed hurting for both of those things. Then you must know what it means. Oh my god, we're just gonna go Teferi into Consecrated Sphinx? <laughs> Deal City. Next turn we can go Gideon, make a dude, time warp, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now we'd be one man away from that. Let's make sure we play the land. We played island, correct. Okay. Well, this game is over. Is that presumptuous? Am I wrong to think that this game has ended? No. I don't want you to do that. I appreciate my Consecrated Sphinx. We have two removal spells? Well, so be it then. You can't win them all, Michael. Moochel. Michael Moochel. Michael Moochel, the champion of the Moochel Olympics. I take the Moochel Olympics very serious. Very serious? Mm-hmm. No, they don't take you very seriously, Michael. Think you don't know that. Yes, I do. I You've never even seen the Moochel Olympics. Buddy, I watch them every year. I doubt it. <laughs> like you even know. Uh, it's named after me. I think I would know. No, it's not. It's named after Jefferson Muchel, the creator. That was my dad, okay? <laughs> well, my my great dad. Your dad's not that great, okay? <laughs> he didn't even come back from cigarettes. But he did invent the Muchel ceremonies and games. When are we going to be streaming some modern again? I don't know, man. Cube's up. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can actually play two Planeswalkers next turn. That's kind of a cool thing to do, right? It's all right. It's okay. All right. Mike B moves in mysterious way. Sure, I do move in a mysterious way. Make me move mysterious way. I think it's Gideon. We can also play Gideon and then time warp. I think we're just playing two planeswalkers here. That seems fine. Once to Ferryman's ultimate? When? Yeah, how many? Seven. No, eight. Okay. Frank hates Cube more than he hates Mike B. His name is Muchel Bar Barbligans. That guy doesn't even get to look at the board. Just to be clear. I bet he's sad now. I don't care. I don't care anymore. How much mana do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. We're one shy of being able to. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. We can't play Elspeth and create this guy. Create this guy. Let's draw a card. No, let's not waste it. Mutual don't care anymore. Oh, Mutual, living his best Mutual life. Oh, Mutual, things are gonna get easier. 
How much damage can we deal? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Did you include Gideon? 11, 12, 13. Oh, we overpay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I think I'm just making an emblem here. No, I'm just attacking here. I feel like we're ahead. What do I know, though? I've activated all these things. Sounds good. You think four planeswalkers is enough to get the job done? God, I hope so. <laughs> yeah. Hope you find what you're looking for. I don't. I don't hope they do. What can they even find here? Toxic Deluge? Nailed it. Toxic Deluge doesn't really even do it. I think the upheaval was the one thing I was kind of scared about. And that's the end. If you guys are watching on YouTube or Twitch, I'm not leaving. If you're watching on YouTube, I am leaving, unfortunately. But I will see you again. Uh, definitely check out manatraders.com. Uh, if you are looking to rent either physical paper cards or digital Magic Online cards, and you can test all the decks you want out uh, with our subscription service. And you get 20% off the first three months with the promo code and the link that is in the description. So definitely check that out. You can also check out meundies.com slash franklapore. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. That link is in the description below. So check check out all those links. If you're looking for these products anyway, uh, definitely use those links. They're a great way to, to support the channel, and I really appreciate the help. You can also press those sub like and subscribe buttons, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Really appreciate it.